Let's get right back to the competition. We are in round four with pronouncer Stan Bunger. Stan. Thank you, Sharon. Let's go with speller number one as we begin round four. This word could be confused with a similar word, so I'll give you some additional information. The word is skirret. It's a noun. It's an Asiatic herb cultivated in Europe for its sweet, edible, tuberous roots. After foraging for ages, Yang happened on a skirret, the roots of which he planned to boil and eat. Skirret. Uh, skirret, am I pronouncing that correctly? Skirret. Skirret. Um, can I have the language of origin? It entered English from French, which probably took it from an Arabic word. Um, can I have the definition again? An Asiatic herb cultivated in Europe for its sweet, edible, tuberous roots. Skirret. S-K-I-R-E-T. Skirret. Canoa. Caitlin dreamed of floating, uh, floating down the Amazon River in a canoa, exploring the rainforest and all of its inhabitants. Canoa. Canoa. Can I have the definition? A sloop-rigged fishing boat common in the Amazon Delta. Can I have the language of origin? It is from Spanish-derived Portuguese. Can I have the part of speech? It's a noun. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Canoa. C-A-N-O-A. -A. Canoa. This word could be confused with a similar word, annulet. Now, noun, that means a little ring. Letitia wears a silver annulet on her pinky finger every day. Annulet. Annulet. Can I get the definition, please? A little ring. Can I get the language of origin? It's from a French word which took it from Latin. Can you please repeat the word? Annulet. Annulet? Annulet. Can I get the part of speech? It's a noun. Annulet. 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 E N U L E T. Annulet. Luxembourg. The entire country of Luxembourg is slightly smaller in area than the state of Rhode Island. Luxembourg. Luxembourg may have the origin. It's a European geographical name. Luxembourg. L-U-X-E-M-B-O-U-R-G. Luxembourg. Palais. Built in 1897, the Grand Palais in Paris has been used as a museum, a military hospital, and a venue for fencing competitions. Palais. Palais. Can I have the definition? A palace used especially of a French public building as a courthouse or official residence. Can I have the language of origin? It's from French, which took it from Latin. Palais. P-A-L-E-T, Palais. Diplodocus. The Diplodocus grew to about 90 feet from its head to its whip-like tail. Diplodocus. May I have the definition? Any animal of a genus of very large herbivorous dinosaurs from the upper Jurassic of Colorado and Wyoming. Um, may I have the origin? Let it's made up of Greek elements. Can you repeat the word? Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Am I saying it correctly? Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Yes. Diplodocus. D I P L O D I C U S. Diplodocus. Alhambra. Deliana was awed at the beautiful, intricate carvings and mosaics that covered the walls of the Alhambra. 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 Definition, please. The Palace of the Moorish Kings at Granada, Spain. Language origin. A pass from Arabic to Spanish. Alternate pronunciations? No. Alhambra. 
A L H A M B R A. Poussin. Celeste was not sure how to season and cook a Poussin, so she consulted a cookbook written by Julia Child. Poussin. <clears throat> Could I have a definition, please? A young chicken of about one pound weight for table use, a small broiler. Can I have the, get the language of origin? It came from French, which formed it from a Latin word. And could you repeat the word? Poussin. Poussin. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Poussin. Say it again. Poussin. 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 Say it again, please. Poussin. Not quite. Not quite. Oh. It's Poussin. Oh, okay. Um, Poussin. Um. Almost. Very close. Can you say it again? Poussin. Um, Poussin. Poussin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, that's the only piece. It's the only piece. So can I spell it? Why don't you say it one more time? Poussin. 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 I mean, I don't know that we can do much more. Not without, yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Poussin. Poussin. Okay. P O U S S E T T E. Poussin. This word could be confused with a similar word, so I'll give you additional information. Vallum. It's a noun. It means a defensive wall of earth, sod, or stone, a rampart. Hadrian's Wall in Northern England is a famous example of a Roman vallum. 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 May I have the origin, please? It's from Latin. Could you repeat the definition? A defensive wall of earth, sod, or stone, a rampart. Vallum. V I'm sorry, would you say that again? Vallum. He's good. Vallum. V-A-L-L-U-M. Vallum. Anasarca. Mr. Dobson recently developed anasarca as a result of his congestive heart failure. Anasarca. Anasarca. May I have the definition, please? Edema characterized by the accumulation of serum in the connective tissue of the body, also called dropsy. Anasarca. Can I have the or language of origin, please? Formed in Latin from two originally Greek parts. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Anasarca. A N A. S A R C A Anasarka. This word has a homonym, Strominius. It's an adjective which means straw colored. The fields were covered with Strominius vegetation. Strominius. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. <clears throat> What's the language of origin? It's from Latin. What's the word? Strominius. Strominius. S-T-R-E-M-I-N-I-O-U-S. Triturate. The pharmacist will triturate the drug in a marble mortar he inherited from his grandfather. Triturate. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. What is the origin of the word? It's from Latin. Triturate? Triturate. T R I T C H E R A T E. This word could be confused with a similar word. Buren, a noun that means an engraver's tool having a steel blade ground obliquely to a sharp point. The artist used a buren to engrave a design on a copper plate. Buren. 
Can I have the language of origin? Perhaps originally Celtic and perhaps passed through Catalan before becoming French. Buren, and am I pronouncing it correctly? Buren? Buren, yes. 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 Can I have the power of speech? It's a noun. Buren. B U R I N. Buren. Entelechy. Entelechy has been described as the element that differentiates matter and a living body. Entelechy. 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 Say it one more time, please. Entelechy. Do you think I don't know, so I'm not you're not happy with the first? Yeah. Okay. I'm not happy. Entelechy. Entelechy. Yeah. May I have the language of origin? It's from an originally Greek word that passed into Latin. <clears throat> Entelechy. May I have the definition? The full realization of form giving cause or the realized state of potentialities as contrasted with mere potential existence. Entelechy. Entelechy. E N T E L O C H Y. Peristome. In mosses, the peristome works to release spores gradually instead of letting them all release at once. Peristome. Peristome. Um, may I have the definition, please? The fringe of teeth surrounding the mouth or opening of a moss capsule. May I have the language of origin? Uh, it consists of two originally Greek elements. Paris, um, can I have the part of speech? It's a noun. Peristome. P A R A S T O M E Peristome. Bryophyte. The botanist told the students that the earliest land plant was probably a bryophyte. Bryophyte. What's the language of origin? Both parts of this word passed from Greek to Latin. What's the definition? A plant of a division of non-flowering plants comprising the mosses and liverworts. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Can I repeat the word? Bryophyte. Bryophyte. B R Y O P H Y T E bryophyte. Andante. Accio's teacher suggested that he practice the passage Andante until he had mastered it and then he could increase the tempo. Andante. May you please have the language of origin. It came from Italian, which probably formed it from a Latin word. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Andanti, Andanti. Andante, A-N-D-A-N-T-E, Andante. Ritidome. The ritidome protects the intervascular system of a tree. Ritidome. Ritidome, can I please have the language of origin? Probably from Greek to Latin. Can I please have the definition? The part of the bark external to the last formed periderm, called also scale bark, shell bark. Ritidome. R I D E D O M E Ridodome.
Gillia. Gladys added a Gillia named Blue Thimble Flower to her flower bed that featured exclusively native plants of California. Gillia. May I have the language of origin? The word was formed in Latin from a Spanish name and a Greek derived Latin element. May I have the definition? Any plant of a genus of North American herbs with often dissected leaves and campanulate to infundibuliform flowers of various colors. Gillia. G I L I A. Scalari. The common name of the scalari is angelfish. Scalari. May I please have the definition? A popular tropical aquarium fish, laterally compressed and having large pointed fins and being strikingly barred with black and silver. May I have the language of origin, please? It's from Latin. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Scalare. Could you please repeat the alternate pronunciation? Scalare. Scalare. Are you asking for the alternate or the preferred? Um, could you repeat the preferred? Scalari. Scalari. S C A L A R E. Scalari. Clavison. One of Henry's jobs at the Historical Museum is to play period pieces on a clavecin that belonged to Thomas Jefferson. Clavecin. Uh, may I have the language of origin, please? It came from French, which formed it from a Latin word. Could you repeat the word, please? Clavecin. Clavecin. Am I pronouncing it right? Yes. Clavicin. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Clavicin. C L A V A C I N E. Clavicin. <coughs> Hyaloid. The hyaloid artery is part of the ophthalmic artery. Hyaloid. Can I please have the definition? Glassy or transparent. Can I please have the language of origin? It is from Greek. Can you please repeat the word? Hyaloid. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. What's the part of speech? It is an adjective. Can you please repeat the word? Hyaloid. Hyaloid. H-Y-O-L-O-I-D. Hyaloid. This word could be confused with a similar word. Agripnia, a noun that means a vigil before certain feasts, as Easter, in the Eastern Church. Nikolai's church kept a traditional agripnia on the night before Easter. Agripnia. Agripnia. Am I saying it correctly? I think so. Say it again, please. Agripnia. Yeah. yeah. Sounds right. Yeah. Can I have the definition? A vigil before certain feasts as Easter in the Eastern Church. Can you use it in the sentence? Nikolai's church kept a traditional agripnia on the night before Easter. A G R I P N I A. Rondash. A slit in the upper part of a rondash enabled users to see through it. Rondash. 
Can I have the language of origin, please? It's from a French word. Can you repeat the word? Rondash. R E N D A C H E Rondash. Forestero. Most chocolate today comes from the Forestero. 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 Am I pronouncing it correctly? Forestero? Yes. Okay, Forestero. May I please have the definition? Any of various very productive cacaos with thick hard shells and purple seeds. May I please have the language of origin? Originally Latin, this word passed from Provençal to Catalan to Spanish. Uh, may I please have the word again? Forastero. Forastero. F O R A S T E R O. Forastero. Stalag. Henry loves to watch reruns of a television sitcom about a fictitious, fictitious Stalag and its prisoners. Stalag. Can I have the definition, please? A German prison camp for non-commissioned or enlisted prisoners of war. Stalag. S-C-H-T-A-L-L-A-G. Stalag. Epilimnion. Because the epilimnion is relatively warm, well-lighted, and well-oxygenated, it is suitable for a wealth of minute plants. Epilimnion. Epilimnion. Am I pronouncing it correctly? I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. May I have the language of origin, please? Both parts of the word are originally Greek. Epilimnion. May I have the definition, please? A layer of water that overlies the thermocline of a lake and is subject to the action of wind. Epilimnion. Can I have the language of origin, please? As I said, both parts are originally oh, Greek. Sorry. Um, epilimnion. E P I L I M N I O N Epilimnion Propiophenone. The propiophenone used in Katrina's favorite perfume has the smell of gardenia blossoms. Propiophenone. Can you pro pronounce the word again, please? Propiophenone. Language of origin, please. It was formed in international scientific vocabulary from originally Greek parts. Propiophenone. P R O P I A P H E N O N E. Propiophenone. This word has a near homonym, so I'll give you additional information. Alamond. It's a noun. It means a dance of the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries developed in France from a German folk dance. Alamond. Lina and her fellow cast members learned to dance the Alamond for a scene in the historical movie. Alamond. Am I pronouncing correctly? Alamond? Yes. Yes. May I have the part of speech? It's a noun. May I have the language of origin? It went from Latin to French. May I have the definition? It's a dance of the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries developed in France from a German folk dance. Allemand. A L L A M O N D E. Allemand. Venairi. When she reported for jury duty, Astrid was directed to join the Venairi in courtroom 17. 
Venari. Venari, can I have the definition? An entire panel which is drawn for jury duty and from which a jury is to be selected. Venari, can I have the language of origin? It's from Latin. Venari, are there any alternate pronunciations? Veneri. Veneri, Veneri. Can you give me the part of speech? It's a noun. And can you use it in a sentence again? When she reported for jury duty, Astrid was directed to join the Veneri in courtroom 17. And I'm pronouncing the word correctly, Veneri. Sounds right to me. Veneri. Veneri. V E N I R E. Veneri. This word could be confused with a similar word. I'll give you additional information. A cappella. It's an adverb that means in a style marked by the absence of instrumental accompaniment. Jack doesn't mind singing with an accompanist, but he really prefers to sing a cappella. A cappella. May I have the definition? I just gave you the definition. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. May I have the language of origin? It's from Italian. Acapella. A C A P E L L A. Acapella. This word could be confused with a similar word. Pinolias. It's a plural noun that means the edible seeds of the nut pine. Martha sprinkled some pinolias on top of the salad and topped it off with some crumbled goat cheese. Pinolias. Pinolias. Can I have the language of Can I have the language of origin, please? It's from a word that went from Latin to Italian. Pinolias. P I N I O L I A S, Pignolias. This word has a near homonym, so I'll give you additional information. Wayang. It's a noun that means an Indonesian and especially Javanese dramatic representation of mythological events in a puppet shadow play or by human dancers. The puppets used in Wayang are crafted from buffalo hide and are mounted on bamboo sticks. Wayang. Can I have the language of origin? It's from Javanese. Can I have the part of speech? It's a noun. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Can you repeat the word? Wayang. Wayang. W-Y-O-N-G. Budesonide. Doctors prescribe budesonide to some patients with eosinophilic esophagitis, either in conjunction with or as an alternative to rigid food elimination diets. Budesonide. Language of origin. This word comes from elements of international scientific vocabulary that derive from French, German, Greek, and or Latin. Part of speech? It's a noun. Can you please repeat the word? Budesonide. Budesonide. B E A U D E. S-C-I-N-I-D-E, Budesonide.
pygus style. Most modern birds have a plowshare-shaped pygus style that supports and helps move the tail feathers that birds use to maneuver during flight. Pygus style. May I have the language of origin? This word consists of a Greek part and an originally Greek part that passed into Latin. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Um, Pyga style, am I saying it correctly? I believe so, yes. Pyga style. P Y G A S T Y L E. Pyga style. That, I believe, brings us to the end of the round, Brian and Sharon. We've uh, completed four rounds. Yes, we have. At the beginning of the round, we had 35. Now we only have 14 more spellers. Wow, that was quite the round. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to return with round five coming up. <laughs>